So, lastly for today is a very late breaking news, which we saw coming about two weeks ago, but now we have like official confirmation and a little bit more details about the production company, and that's the Warner Brothers and Discovery merger has gone through, well, will be going through under a new unified banner for the name of the company, Warner Brothers Discovery. Wow. You know... There's some idiot just sitting back going, <laughs> I got paid to name this, and this is what <laughs> I came up with. Like, it's not a bad name, but it's also like you just stuck the names together. <laughs> like, it's not like Warner Discover or something like that or Discover Brothers. No, that sounds like an HGTV show. Um, yeah. <laughs> but, like, Warner Brothers Discovery. That's it. Or WB Discovery. Something. This is too long of a name. And also, this isn't a mock-up that I made in Photoshop or anything. This is an actually officially released logo of what Warner Brothers Discovery is going to be. <clears throat> it looks like an Angels in the Outfield logo. <laughs> <laughs> It does, especially with the, like space the jam. Yeah. Oh, this is what. What is this? This is the stuff dreams are made of. Mm-hmm. At that, like, oh come on, bro, get out of here. You know what? This like stuff like this reminds me of the good old Jim Gaffigan bit where he's talking about the guy who wrote the Hot Pockets jingle. And he's like, "All right, man, I'm paying you a ton of money, and you to write this jingle for Hot Pockets. Well, what you got?" Crap, I forgot to work on it. Uh, 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 hot Pockets? Brilliant, you're paid. Like, this, that's what this feels like, you know? Like, it's just... I guess simple is best, but... Is it, though? No, it's not. Okay, also, like, logo-wise, they Warner Brothers for so long has had that shield that they keep making more and more minimalist and it bothers me. What you should have done is have the W and the B that are inside that shield logo... Now, inside of the Discovery D that we have for Discovery Plus. But I'm not a graphic designer, so it probably would look terrible. Yeah. As a like whole. The, in comparison to this logo, yeah. <laughs> it, as a whole, though, I still think this is a good acquisition. However, we're still kind of hearing some people speculate and formulate their opinions that once this merger's gone through, Discovery might still sell off... Um, Warner, I'm going, I don't know. And that Universal might still be in the mood to buy Warner Brothers. And I'm going, that gets a little too dangerously close to Monopoly, I think. DC might be sold to Universal. But again, DC is like one of the big properties for Warner Brothers. And so I see them wanting to keep that in their back pocket with this merger with Discovery. I still think this is a good thing. But we're not off to the best start here. However, the name of the company is not what really gets my interest more so. It's what's the name of your streaming service going to be? Because you can't do any worse than HBO Max, which is one of the worst names. And the single-handedly doomed you from the start by having a stupidly confusing name. That and Peacock are terrible. If it was up to you, Josh, you're getting paid the big bucks here. What's the name of the streaming service that they're using, and do they combine them or keep them separate, Warner Brothers and Discovery? All right, I got this. So, based on the minimalism of the uh, logo, I'm going to be paid millions of dollars to name the new streaming service HBO Discovery. Woo! I got it! No? Wow. Nope, nope. No, no, they didn't didn't do it for you. All right. Um, that's all I. That's all I got. Sorry, I uh, put about two hours worth of thought into this. So. <laughs> probably more than probably more than whoever actually came up with it. <laughs> that's true. Maybe like discover WB or worlds of WB. <laughs> I don't know. Like, oh, uh, there's just no way to make this sound cool. Chip and Joanna I just... Plus. I don't. <laughs> I mean, they've already got Magnolia Network, but whatever. Um, yeah, but whatever. Guy Fieri and Friends. <laughs> Every show now must have Guy Fieri, and that's why he signed that massive contract, which we didn't talk about on the show here, but did you see his new contract that he signed with uh, with Food Network? No. Guy Fieri just re-upped his contract for Food Network for three years, $85 million. 
Jeez, Twitch I'm just man. going, that's professional athlete money right there. Yeah, except, bro. except you know, he actually brings in money for the company that he I works mean, for. That and he like actually gives back to the industry. A oh, yeah, lot, guy's the so. best. Guy's awesome. <laughs> yeah, guy's the best. Oh man, I just can't. I don't understand anything that's happening with this. In right general. Here. You just don't understand it in general. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't sleep, so sleep is for the <laughs> week. And, uh... <laughs>